Hi, everybody. I just wanted to make a quick video about uh, my inside the house, uh, almost like balcony uh, farming. And this is my uh, sweet bell peppers. And these two plants right here, one and two, and you can see I have a nice size pepper already, even though today is uh, April 14th and it's 2014. I have a bunch of small ones uh, that have sprouted. Uh, as I mentioned, this, this plant, these two plants are two years old. Um, okay, now let me get to this. This is my tomato plant, and this tomato plant has been growing continually for three years now. And uh, you can see a nice uh, tomato here uh, to give a... Uh, scale. This is my thumb next to it. Uh, we've got another uh, tomato over here, and uh, we got some flowers here. Hopefully, they pollinated. Okay, this one was a graft from this one here that happened to die. Uh, this one, don't know what happened. I did uh, move it. I guess it didn't like it, but I happened to make a, a cutting from it, put it in. Um, a small glass and it really loved it uh, it's doing quite well and um, here is uh, this other plant and you can see some flowers up here towards the top and uh, I know it's a gray day today so it's probably a little bit hard to see it but uh, there's about seven seven eight flowers up there hopefully they'll pollinate also, um, uh, with this plant, this plant that's growing here, the one that I just showed you, I made a cutting out of that one. It wasn't doing too well. Uh, had uh, roots and everything. I put it into the soil, and it uh, probably went into shock. It was in shock for about 10, 15 days, you know, just about two weeks, 10 days, two weeks. Now we're starting to green up. Uh, hopefully it gets some delicious... Um, uh, tomatoes from there as well. Um, this one's a round type of tomato. This, these are plum tomatoes. Um, okay, now we got to here, and you could see I have have it marked out one, two, three, four, and we have um, uh, kidney beans here. Uh, have um, cucumbers here. Um, I have uh, dill here. And I have uh, parsley here, and the parsley isn't coming up, but I could see one um, cucumber, and these are the dills coming up. Um, everybody should have um, a uh, herb garden in their house. Uh, you really don't know what they spray, and for God's sakes, if they're spraying glyphosate, that just promotes cancer in your body. So uh, the research is there. I use... Um, uh, optimum nutrition. Oh, excuse me, not optimum nutrition. I'm using actually my wife's um, Twin Lab Woman's uh, vitamins. I put it into uh, the water and let it sit for a while, keep mixing it in, and really it's done a wonderful job on these. So as things happen, and here you got a little bit of color with that one, and let's see if we can get some color with this a little bit hard on this gray, uh, gloomy looking day outside. So as things progress, I'll make some other videos and it's pretty easy. You can see I use five liter containers. Okay. Uh, see what I did was, uh, um, with the top on carefully, I used a uh, exacto knife to cut, cut a hole this way. Uh, you may want to um, uh, do it the other way. Uh, that's your preference. Uh, but you won't have a lot of surface area. It'd probably be good for one plant. But this, I could get a few in. Uh, the thing is, I recommend if you do this, your soil will dry out rather quickly. You have to uh, get some old um, uh, paper, 
put it against it, let the white uh, reflect some of the uh, ultraviolet uh, light away so it doesn't heat up the soil too much and doesn't evaporate your, your moisture out of the soil. So pretty happy with uh, the results so far and can't wait to taste them. And um, by the way, these uh, are from seeds from last year as well, uh, from a couple of years ago. So uh, seeds that I had from another planter, uh, but that, that was four years ago. So these plants are from seeds that I planted four years ago. So pretty nice. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.